Karindu Amarasekar. A strange encounter. A strange encounter. Karindu Amarasekar. In 2018, one failed MBA semester, two failed relationships with twins, and three failed business ideas. I was just one failure away from the Oxford Dictionary putting Tarindu Amarasekara as a synonym for failure. And amidst all of this, I had to get a surgery done in a very embarrassing place. The pretty nurse seemed less interested about my health and more interested about my fashion. Take off all your clothes and your slippers and wear only this. Contest master, did your school teachers ever tell you that they were preparing you for the future? I acted in seven school dramas, all female roles, including Red Riding Hood's grandmother, a very overweight Cleopatra, <laughs> and in my last role, a royal palace prostitute. <laughs> I was so ashamed, I didn't tell my parents until they came to watch it. After watching it, they were so ashamed, they left without picking me. <laughs> and those days, there was no pick me. But all this meant that I was trained to get into a dress without a mess. With the hospital gown on, I walked out with just one song in my head. I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Screams the pretty nurse, like she has seen a hairy, scary gorilla. What? Sir, back is open, tie the knot! <laughs> she actually has seen a hairy, scary gorilla. <laughs> they were ready to take me on a wheelchair. And my darling emotional mother comes and says, son, don't worry, we are right outside. Now my dad, a doctor himself, and a man of few words, says, don't forget you're wearing a dress, keep your feet together. <laughs> but despite all my failures, they were there for me. I'm sorry, mom and dad, I'm sorry for failing. And my mother says, son, that's okay. Family is there for you when you have no one. We love you. And I was taken to the theater and was waiting for the doctor. For my bad luck, the doctor knew my family. And he decides to have a conversation. Sticks his two fingers deep with gloves <laughs> and asks, how's your father? <laughs> now that's the closest I've ever been to who's your daddy. They kept the mask to my face and I fell asleep. When I woke up, a deadly silence. As I turn, I see the body of a female patient dressed in white. And all of a sudden, the Toastmaster in me kicks in. New pathways, hospital talks, level one. Are you here for a long time? We all have our time. When the time is over, we must move on. And I'm thinking, why is she speaking in typical dead woman lines? <laughs> Are you excited to meet your family? Friends, family, all temporary. <laughs> I guess that's life, isn't it? <laughs> How sure are you that this is life and not afterlife? <laughs> oh no, am I dead? Is this afterlife? Is this my afterlife wife? <laughs> okay, not bad to be honest. I just need to improve the vocal variety and the choice of language. <laughs> Must get her enrolled at the BCG Toastmasters. Borella Cemetery Ghosts. <laughs> we have ovation, they have? Cremation. <laughs> Close enough. Can you do me a favor? Can you tell my family that I 
love them. <laughs> Too soon to meet the family. <laughs> uh, uh, but you can tell that yourself. I don't know. I don't want to live. I have heard them too much. I was wishing that I will die. Okay, so good news, this means I'm still alive. <laughs> but then I remembered what my mother said. Look, family is there for you when you have no one. Just talk to them. Are you sure? Yes, I am. What's your story? I sense sorrow in your voice. I have messed up in everything I started. I don't even know what I'm good at anymore. You're very good at giving hope to people. I had no hope about living after the surgery. I was wishing I will die. You gave me hope. You should do that. Ah, you're already up and flirting also. Come, come, let's go. <laughs> and I was taken away on a trolley, away from my dead half. As I got ready to be discharged, I asked the attendant about her. And he said, ah, she went home all smiles with her family, told to say thank you to you for everything what you did inside. <laughs> now my father heard this and told my mother, can you see, he has been flirting with women inside the hospital theater also. <laughs> my mother, savage as ever, gives the reply, must have definitely got that from the father. <laughs> Friends. We have always been told, don't talk to strangers. Now that may be true, especially if you are doing other things with strangers. If you meet them on Tinder in Australia, that might be a bad idea. <laughs> but it's okay to listen to them and to listen to their story and for you to share your story with them. A stranger's words that I am good at giving hope made me encouraged enough to start my own training business. And there has been no turning back ever since then. A stranger's words helped me to discover my true passion. And I don't even know her name. The next time you have a strange encounter, no matter how strange it may be, talk to them, listen to them, because you might have the power to change their life, and they might have the power to change yours. As I got ready to leave, enters the doctor. Ah, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm, I'm fine, doctor, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you, thank you. Contest master, how are you feeling? observe a minute of silence. 